Okay, so this came today. Um, it's a Nintendo Switch Wireless Pro Controller. It also has a turbo button, it should do. Go in the instruction manual. It came with a wire to charge it up. Usual, the usual. Oh, and this is pretty neat. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get put a link down to this in the description, but um, yeah, we have this type, we have two extra types of D-pad. This one, and this one, which you actually, which is actually apparently good for fighting games. So if, you, if you're into Smash Bros, you might uh, want to get that. Um, yep, yeah, this has a turbo button. Uh, it's a little bit, um, let me get my actual Switch Pro controller here. Yeah, that's well, it's based on Switch Pro controller, but it's wired. So, um, comparing the two here, um, obviously the D pads are in different places, which is interesting. So, this is built more like a PlayStation 4 controller, which, if you like PlayStation controllers, that is good. Um, yeah, it feels nice to hold. It's got, yeah, it's actually got some rubber grips, which is kind of nice. Um, and of course, you have. Um, the plus and minus buttons, uh, they're slightly further away on the black one. Um, you have the home button which is uh, in the center here and a bit bigger, where over here it's on here, but that's because over here we have the turbo button where this is and that is where the home, the home button is. Um, nothing, nothing else on the back. Um, and nothing special about the triggers. Um, something a little bit different here. Um, this, you know, goes in, which I've always thought was a little bit um, annoying. Where this is just flat, more like a um, Xbox One controller. Um, comparing it to the Xbox One controller, because it's the only other controller I really have to compare it to from recent years. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's not really much, it doesn't have much in common really, um, yeah. The size, I think the Switch Pro Controller might actually be about the same size as the Xbox One controller, which, yeah, and it's actually, I have played a bit of PlayStation 1 and I do have a PlayStation 2 and I have played a good bit on my PlayStation 2. Um, so this does feel not unnatural to me. It feels familiar. Um, but if you're, but if you've only played Nintendo consoles and you've never actually like even picked up a Sony controller and used it for an extended period of time, using this will feel unfamiliar and a bit awkward and needing to get used to. Uh, even me, I might need a little while to get used to this. Um, so, instruction manual. Um, uh, connect the controller and start game when they're connecting the device. For the first time, please follow the instructions below to uh, detect and match the controller. Hold the home button for 5 seconds. All LED uh, indicators will blink quickly. When LED indicator 1 is lit up and the uh, steady match matching is successful, when connecting the device a second at a time or more, Simply hold the home button to turn the controller on and it will get automatically connected. To ensure a game, enter a game, sorry, press home button to enter the game menu. Choose a game that you already played, press A to start the game. To turn the controller off, hold the home button for 10 seconds. Uh, for other marks, um, use home button. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna uh, let's let's try switching out the D-pads quickly. Let's see how easy that is. So um, we have this one here. Hmm, not bad. A little bit needed to give a little bit of a jiggle, but not bad really. And then put the, this one on. Hold on, you need. Hmm. Yeah, snaps on pretty easily. There we go, and then you can just take it off, put the next one on. Yeah, 
doing? None of these feel bad. Um, so this one, um, this is like a, a normal D-pad, but it doesn't have the um, hard edges that this a normal D-pad does. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to play a game and um, do some commentary over it. Right, I'm back. So, um, unfortunately, um, I did actually play around with this, and I did play around with this, and um, you know, uh, do and test the turbo button. But I accidentally deleted the wrong file, and everything's gone. Well, half of it was gone, and all that was left was the second half. And yeah, I couldn't recover it, so I'm just going to basically have to tell you how it went, basically. So, um, if you turn the console off and on again, um, you will have to go through the whole song and dance of um, binding controllers, pressing the button and all that. It does have a reset button on the back, so that's there uh, if you wanted to, if you want it, if you need it. Um, and it does feel alright, I mean, it's a bit odd playing on the Switch using a, a PlayStation controller layout, basically. But, other than that, it's perfectly fine. Um, the turbo button's a little bit iffy. So, in I was playing, earlier I was playing Minecraft. I pressed the turbo button and the um, R2. Um, and uh, that caused, you know, that made Minecraft uh, Steve break the blocks, obviously. Um, but uh, uh, the thing is, the the, for some reason I can't get the turbo button to stop turbo buttering, buttoning in. I could stop it by switching to another item and then that glitched it out a bit and it made R2 completely unresponsive um, for a little while and then it started responding but then it will, it will just continuously break blocks when you press it so the turbo button is a bit iffy like you pretty much have to dedicate yourself to the turbo button once you use it um so yeah uh would i suggest this controller yeah i would suggest it if you um want a cheap uh, um like uh pro controller or if you're traditionally a sony fan but you want to play on the Nintendo Switch because it's portable and Sony's not releasing a portable device. They might, not, they, might not, they might as well not have really because the PSP was it was a bit of a flop and the Vita bombed. Like seriously. Um, the, the, the Vita, while it's quite nice and um, you know more powerful than the 3DS, it, it didn't do well because it just mainly ports. Anyway. Um, you know, this would, it, this would def or if you just prefer uh, the PlayStation controller layout, then this definitely is the pro controller for you. It charges through a USB Type-C, which is really handy because, uh, and it comes with a USB Type-C USB to USB Type-A, so you can charge it up using that, or you can charge your Switch up on the go through a USB port, or whatever you want to do using a USB Type-B to USB Type-C. Um, other than that, um, it, uh, um, this, apparently this D-pad, I'm going to play around with it, a little, little, with a little, a little bit and see how I like it, but um, I don't think much of it right now, so I'll play around with it a little bit, but apparently this D-pad is quite good for fighting games, so I'll put that on there and I'll, I'll play around with it, see if it's any good but um, yeah it is customizable feels nice to hold not too heavy like look if you like weight to your controller then this won't do it for you because this is light as nothing like seriously like I like a nice light controller in my hands I don't want to be you know have to do like pull ups with the controller I like a nice loose controller that I can just have in my hand and just play with like um where is the GameCube controller? There it is. Like while the GameCube controller has a little bit of weight to it, still quite light. Not as light as this. I mean this is only a little bit lighter than this and I'd say most of the weight comes from this bit on the bottom, to be honest. 
So that's where that's where it feels like most of the weight's coming from. But yeah, the GameCube controller, um, that's one of the reasons why I like the GameCube controller so much. It's not too heavy. And one of the reasons why I don't particularly enjoy the Xbox controller. While it's not um, extremely heavy like the uh, uh, Xbox uh, um, Pro controller, it feels about uh, almost double the weight of this. If that's what it feels like. And uh, this, just holding this, after holding this, it's just, it does you, it does actually feel quite heavy to just to hold. And that is one of the reasons why I don't like the Xbox One controller because it's just heavy. And I don't even have um, batteries in mine. I, I have a little um, USB by me to use it with. So I also use it to charge up my phone. And it just doesn't feel nice to have a heavy weight in your hands. Right, I want to feel like I'm holding nothing. Like, I want to be able to just like play the game and not even know I have, I'm have i holding something in my hands. With controllers as heavy as, say, the Xbox One controller and... Um, to this, to a lesser extent, this... Right, so, I think... This is the lightest, and I think then there's the GameCube, then this, then the Xbox One controller. Um, and yeah, so if you want a nice light controller, and yeah, apart from the table button, everything works perfectly fine. Um, again, it could just be that I'm, I'm just being a bit of a dip, and I just and the and the table button works perfectly fine. I just haven't figured out how to use it or something. You know, the ta it, this this is pretty much if you want a lightweight controller that's cheap and you know for the switch you you've got it and it's wireless i mean probably not going to use it in a fighting game because um well especially in smash bros because you're going to be using a gamecube controller for smash bros and you're probably going to be using a wireless wired pro controller for um smash bros if you're using a pro controller because they're uh, minimal input lag but still this is pretty nice and um, I do like the switchable D-pad, and it'll probably be a lot easier to customize just by like get cracking the case open. Now, something I might do with this is actually um, like get a, like see about um, customizing this. Like I don't know it um, what my work on this, but I might look into customizing this. And I do like the grips. The grip the grips do feel nice. Like yeah, but yeah. Um, that's basically it. It's a well working controller. The, the table button, it works, but it sort of had to turn it off. So, you know, it, pros and cons on to it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, uh, bye bye.